in future? Yes, uh, I got from my teacher, uh, blessed memory, Maulana Dr. Muhammad Fadur Rahman Ansari, I got a methodology for the study of the Quran. And that methodology led me to understand, this, for example, the subject of Gagan Magam. And uh, <laughs> not even Dr. Israha Rahman, with whom I had a close relationship, not even he could I convince. Um, so it's they are Methodist actually. Mm-hmm. All these scholars belong to somewhere in the power, you see, to Jamal Islam, Jamal Akhwan al Muslimun, and even to Ahike Muhammadiyya, you see. Mm-hmm. They were all one part of thinking. They were Methodist. And now Ramadi and uh, particularly these old people, they also have the same part. They cannot, you see, approach the religion openly. Mm-hmm. They have to do it within the master's lines. They so seem, they cannot achieve their understanding. They seem to be intellectually yeah. imprisoned in concrete. <laughs> they, 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 right. They, they, they are prey to their own whimsical, you see, patterns. Their own whimsical patterns. Well, I see me, I put an open heart. But if someone says that he wants to be the Lord of the Lord, then he wants to be the Lord of the so my question is that they are not allowed to be the Lord of the Lord. Sir, uh, what he is saying is that they talk about the Baraj and the uh, question that did he actually go on the Baraj? Well, then the question you pile out, then you don't Sir. question that. Then you post a Ahmakana Hiswar. There are two good questions. कोई शख्स ये कहे कि क्या अल्लाह के रसूल को खुदा आसमानों पे ले गया था तो क्वेश्चन ये पैदा होता है कि अल्लाह ले जा सकता है देखो ना कितना अहमकाना सवाल है कि कि खाब में गए थे या उधर गए लेकिन ये क्वेश्चन नहीं बनता द ओनली क्वेश्चन इज वेदर ही कैन टेक समी ऑफ दे आर दाई यूनिवर्सिज विदाउट एनी मीन्स एंड मच उसका क्या जवाब हो सकता है आपका अल्लाह कैसा है कौन है हाउ थी अगर वो नहीं ले जा सकता अपनी ही कायनात में अपने एक बंदे को वन ऑफ द रीजन वाई मोस्टली यू नो द मॉडर्न ट्रेंडेंसीज के दे डोंट बिलीव इन हदीस ऑन द कॉन्ट्री रीज है कि कुरान इज कैन नॉट बी प्रूव विदाउट हदीस प्रॉफिट डजन से इट इज कुरान इज नॉट कुरान हमारे पास दुनिया और कायनात में कोई दूसरा कोई दूसरा सबूत ही नहीं है कुरान सवाई से अल्लाह के रसूल ने चाहिए अगर आपके पास कोई हो तो मुझे बता दीजिए सेम फिगर सेम माउथ अल्लाह के रसूल एक बार तो कुरान कह रहे हैं एक को अपनी बात सच पीपल आर दे आर नेचुरलीस्कॉलिस्टिसम है दिस कैन नॉट मूव विद यू यू विल बी कंसिडर Somebody who is uh, getting ideas not from the earth. Sometimes, if you claim to have, you see, for alham wa ha, for dura wa takwa ha, then you will be considered alham. And if it is not alham, then you will be guided by demons like Master Devas. <laughs> <laughs> so things are not easy to make sure that the people know what they want or what do they want. From religious people, yeah, even Sheikh uh, Mohammedin Ibn Arabi, even I will say Shah Wali Allah, Kashmir, the old people think the same way. How can we ascertain that uh, only the prophets are saying, like I will be saying today? 1500 years before, and now, if we can get a correct hadith, then you can believe. Then you can say that it is special going to come. My prophet said that Jal will cross a country and will throw fire on that people, and from the other hand, he will throw food. It exactly came true, and he was doing. You see, 
in Afghanistan it was sent food on one end and bomb, it was bombed on the other end. It is so exact. Whenever the Prophet will say the thing, it was so exact that there is no part of doubt in it. It's not a hearsay, it's not a guesswork, it's a truth which has been revealed to you. Albatta, you can say to me, what is the placing of Hadith in the eyes of Mahadasi? What does Bukhari say about it? What does he say? We cannot jump beyond the Sihan system. And you have studied the Babul Fitan too good. <laughs> yes, I have. Because I was guided by Allah uh, after completing studies in philosophy and with Mulan Ansari on Islam, to then study international relations in two universities international politics, international economics, international monetary economics, the history of international affairs, and this is vitally important for eschatology in Moachidism. So I spent the last 20-25 years of my life on eschatology. I found while doing my PhD that I couldn't proceed further without eschatology. I came to Delhi and this was in Geneva and I couldn't find anywhere in the world of Islam scholars of eschatology. The Christians had a well-developed eschatology, the Jews had it. But we were doing eschatology from Hadith, studying it only in Hadith, utilizing the methodology that came from my teacher that there is a certain way to study the Qur'an, the way you study the stars. And when you've done your work with the Qur'an, then you turn to the Hadith. And when the Hadith is in harmony with the Qur'an, you accept it. But if a Hadith is in conflict, or even in appearance of conflict with the Qur'an, you stay with the Qur'an. Using that methodology, I realize <laughs> that our Prophet Allah's blessing be upon him, never married a child. And they closed the doors on the masjid for me on that. No. No, 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 he did marry a six-year-old child. So uh, this has led to, this you, this way of looking at the hadith has led to con uh, uh, conflicts now. And they're blocking the doors of the masjid. I was asking you about the of source people ये नहीं जानते एक वजह एक बहुत बड़ा सवाल होता है कि वहीं प्रॉफिट मार्ग है आयशा व्हाई डेंट व्हाई डेंट ही टेक कर लो और क्वेश्चन के पहले वाल तो बस वो उस पद लगे शिवजन में चलो शिवजन तो वो तीन साल के बाद जब वो में चलो जब सात चली गई या दो साल के बाद तो क्वेश्चन ये है कि अगर एक कावड़ वो अस्सी साल वाले से शादी करें या पचास से तीस से से क्या होता है मसला तो the thing is where they are very wrong is the only problem is कि कोई सोचता नहीं है कि prophet did not take her form till she was जब वो तब तक वो भागे उस वक्त इतनी बलूगर नहीं थी तो जब वाले वो ले गए तो उसके बाद कौन सा मसला रहे secondly people are very much mistaken about Aisha اللہ کے رسول کی جتنی بیمیت عیسیٰ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم وہ ان میں صرف سترہ حدیث مرگی ہو اور اس سیونٹین حدیث ہے جن میں اس کو اٹھیں بھائی روز بھائی ہو ام المومنین سے تین ادار ہو اور ان دفعہ عروض صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے فرمایا کہ دین کا ایک چوتھائی ون فورت پاوٹ اکتر دین اس بھی دائشہ ہے because all your private life, all your private attitudes, behavior, the things which are abolitions, prayers, sub other woman in Aisha Kapas. I think what should you want my shadi now to you know memory flesh now. It would have never come to Muslims. And it did not come to Muslims to any other wife. Maximum seventeen I see are reported by all the rest of you. 
इसलिए वन ऑफ द मेजर पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोफेस लेट हैव टू बी इश्यूड थ्रू समबडी विद अ वेरी फ्रेश ब्रेन वेरी स्ट्रांग टेंपर शी हैड अ टेंपर ऑफ इट एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ हर इवन टुडे एवरी आइशा हैज अ एंग्री टेंपर आज भी किसी आइशा को आज उसकी वजह से शी हैड अ टेंपर ऑफ इट एंड एवरी आइशा हैज अ टेंपर ऑफ it may go this way or that and classic manner she retained every bit of prophet's private life because private prophet's private life was not private it had to come so it had to come to umma the daughters of the prophet and the sons of the prophet it had to this way अब अगर आयशा को इफ यू ट्राई टू लुक एट डेट ये कोई औरत तो नहीं है या उस जमाने का वक्त नहीं है इफ यू लुक एट माई मदर वर्दर शी वॉज सिक्स ईयर्स एंड नाइन ईयर आई गो ओनली वन गारंटी प्रॉफिट डिड नॉट टेक हर होम इफ शी गॉट हर बलूवत और जब कोई औरत बलूवत पा जाए तो उस पर कोई I myself, she is eight years, eight years old, twelve years old. It is a full program of mini opera in America. It was so funny. If I would look that woman, she would look for a forty years old woman. I was looking like a fifteen years old man. It was a full program. So, bad kado kamar, bad season, then it burns up. They were so strong. By genetic inheritance, by inheritance, उनके ताबीज बहुत ज्यादा होती है बट उम्र मोमनी वॉज वेरी डायरेक्टेड और पर्टिकुलरली जब आदित उम्र ने कहा जा रहा है स्कोल्ड इन हिफ्सा एंड सेट तो उस गोरे चेहरे वाले की से जिद करती है जो जन्नत में और जमीन में और आसमान में उनकी भी है Mashallah, you have a distinguished profile as a scholar. And, uh, I'm a normal teacher. My, 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 um, my friends uh, around me now uh, were all very keen that I should uh, meet with you and pay my respects to you. I'm very happy for this occasion today to. My pleasure too. I did hear of you in England also, but I'm always in a hurry. तो मैंने अलग बूथ पहने होते हैं कोई पत्ते नहीं होता इधर उधर जाना उधर तो उसका आई पास और उस वक्त आपसे मुलाकात आई एम नॉट आई एम जस्ट क्लोज बिहाइंड यू बाय द मून आई एम ऑलमोस्ट एटी टू बट बाय द सन आल्सो बी एटी सो वी आर क्लोज टू ईच अदर But is it easy for you to come from South South Africa? My forefathers travelled from Hyderabad, Deccan, right. to the Caribbean, to the island of Trinidad, close to Venezuela. Are you Shea Bolte? You also speak Shea? Did the the Hyderabad dialect? Do you speak it? No, 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 no. We the, the British. Destroyed the British system of education, attacked the local language to destroy it so that you speak only English. So I was born in Trinidad, my father and my grandfather. But my father and mother could converse with each other in the local dialect when they don't want the children to understand. But in this generation, we've lost it all. Lost it all. This is British. British education. Yeah. The Dutch, the Dutch were not so successful in Indonesia as the British were. Yeah, uh, but but uh, the family did not originate from Hyderabad. Deccan. They originated from this belt, which is called Khorasan, mm -hmm. <laughs> the northwest of Pakistan, Iran, Afghanistan. Ah, uh, no, so there was rise in Greater Mahamudan Empire. He yeah. calls this the Greater Muhammad. Okay, <laughs> so I am from that part of the world, maybe Pashtun, Pashtun. <laughs> uh, but I, I came to Pak. I studied one year at Al Azhar in Egypt as a young man, but then I left Al Azhar because of Al Azhar Rahman. I'm sorry, and I came and studied with him 
مولانا فضل الرحمن مولانا فضل الرحمن انصاري was a student of Iqbal at the time when he was at Alikar University. Iqbal was a towering intellect over the whole university, but most of all over the department of philosophy. The man who was in charge of philosophy was Professor Sayyid Zafar al Hassan. He was the teacher. But Iqbal was a luminary and uh, he studied philosophy there and he also studied Islam under Maulana Sayyid Suleiman Ashraf. Um, and because he was spared the Darul <laughs> and he got his, his, his um, insight from Iqbal, uh, he was able to respond to Iqbal's call for the reconstruction of religious thought in Islam. Iqbal never did it himself, but he asked for it to be done. And of all the students of Iqbal, he has done more than anyone else for this process of reconstruction. And in the process of reconstruction, the most important contribution he has delivered is the methodology for the study of the Quran and for assessing the Hadith. And it, it wrote, you must have seen his two volume book. Self revival derived from it. The wife of the life. The wife of the life. No, the, the name of the book he wrote in English. In, it's in English. He wrote in English, The Quranic Foundations and Structure of Muslim Society, in two volumes. And I always ask, why did he write in English? Why not in Urdu? <laughs> I realized that he probably came to the conclusion it's a hopeless task to try to change that thinking in the Darul. Uh, perhaps we also, because we have so less books, as like many thousand uh, people ask, uh, how can we go? Uh, we are not well akin with Urdu or this, and they want something well translated to know about God, Prophet, Quran, both and this. So to the trans translations everywhere do as well as we are. We have the book, book translated now to Urdu, yes. But my profile of scholarship has come from Iqbal through Maulana Fadur Rahman. That's why I'm in conflict with the Darul. <laughs> they don't want to see my face. I don't depend on the electronic media. I depend on my books. I've devoted a considerable time. I never went to any media. This my, some of my students, they try to keep on. I have nothing to do. Yeah. And after then I saw it, I, I was so much misquoted yeah. on media government <laughs> that I told them, I have to say, 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 I have to say. The electronic media can be helpful, but we must not be dependent on it. So I devote my attention to writing books. There was a question which I wanted to ask. Yes. There is always a visionary thinking and there is always a, a well-studied thinking. We, we study a lot and then we make a statement. And the best of the studies lies in the Quran and all this, no better, no less. But when we are passing on information, so Usmeh, you may ask the question, Your statements are very strong sometimes about the coming time. Are they supported by your psychic vision also, or they are simply written and recorded? Whenever I interpret the Quran, as I have been doing, or interpret a hadith like the mountain of gold, I always, always insist that no one should accept my view unless convinced that I am correct. Because I don't want to produce a generation of parrots. People who think mechanically. Secondly, that only Allah can confirm. 
that an interpretation of the Quran or the Hadith is correct. So an interpretation must not be used to divide the people and to create sex. Uh, if an interpretation is correct, as I am convinced that several of my interpretations are correct, like the Jasad for example, then that constitutes truth and truth will survive. But if an interpretation is wrong, as I have made mistakes in the past, then tomorrow it will be forgotten. But you still get the blessings from Allah for the effort that you made, provided that your niya is correct. This is how I have been interpreting and I have interpreted several verses, several verses of the Quran uh, in a unique way, which is Allah's kindness. Normally when you say something no one ever said before, you could lose your head. <laughs> you could lose your head. But on the contrary, while there's, there's universal rejection from the scholars, the, the large number of people who accept what I'm saying is correct, despite my warning to them, don't accept it unless you're convinced. It's constantly growing, constantly growing. So I have come to the conclusion, I don't need to bother with those who are closing the doors of the Masjid on me. Well, in Muslim scholars these days are taking breaks. They generally take a break from any intellectual from the West. I met a teacher, Professor Ian Edgar, and I asked him very sincerely, who pays you to write these books and those ideas? So he told me, America pays us. So many people are there. He wrote a book, The Dreams of Mullah Omar. He wrote a book, and he liked many other books. Similarly, Many of uh, Muslim uh, scholars are busy in this job on the dictates of the West or the, uh, uh, those people. And lucky are those people, I think, today, they were not approached by any CIA or FBI or anybody. They, I think they are too clear about them that they won't take the back. Or go look at this job. Well, the religion which is now being put in this society is not that you are American singer. Ye unu Danishwaram Vitor Siyawa. The two Mukhtlif cities may, schools may, Mukhtlif Paisi Laker, I see Kitabi Laker, I call Malaysia Bajawa, Kukila Bajawa, won't give me Mulkini, who are better men just because one for support with Tia, media with her. Understanding of the reality of modern Western civilization is derived from the Quran. I can't get the scholars of Islam to go to the Quran to explain to me from the Quran the phenomenon of modern Western civilization. They refuse to do it. They seem to be incapable of doing it because of a defective methodology that they're using. When I go to the Quran, one of the things that the Quran tells me about modern Western civilization is that God and Magad are located within this civilization. This is called, this called the parting of ways between me and Dr. Israel Rahman. <laughs> 